Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how easy it is to clean the flame sensor on a mobile home Maytag furnace. Now, all of these mobile home furnaces will be the same, but they are kind of a different breed than your residential normal split system furnace. So stay tuned and we're going to show you how to do it. As you can tell, this looks a lot different and this is where our burner is inside of this uh, plate. So what we're going to do to start is pretty much all of these furnaces have an on off switch here instead of a light switch uh, next to the furnace. So I'll go ahead and kill power and then we're going to remove this bottom piece and we're just going to turn our gas off to make sure that we're being safe. So gas is off, electricity is off. So now we can proceed. We have to remove this uh, front plate and we have to remove this flex line so we can slide this whole assembly out and get to that flame sensor and clean it off. All right, so the flex line is off. We're just gonna disconnect these two gas valve wires and the igniter connector. So everything's disconnected. And then we're just gonna use a 5 16th bit to remove all of these screws. And we're gonna be using one of these. It's a reversible bit, so it's got 5 16th and quarter inch. All right, so now that the screws are out, we're gonna slide this whole assembly straight out. We had to lift up just a little bit. All right, so as you can see, the flame sensor slash igniter has these uh, white, just kind of white on the end where the flame is recognized. And so we're just gonna give this a light cleaning and that's really all there is to it. Um, you don't have to use anything super abrasive, just maybe a little wire brush and uh, get that white debris off and everything should be good to go. All right, so we got all the white stuff off. So we're just gonna repeat the order of sequence uh, reinstalling this. Now this piece actually came uh, apart, so we can go ahead and set this in place. Just like that. And next we're just going to slide this back in place just like that and then we'll put those last two screws back in all right so we're just going to connect our gas valve wires back connect our igniter and lastly reinstall our flex line down here Producer just came on. Should see a glow in here in just a second. There we go. So if you're having a similar problem, uh, it's as easy as that to clean the flame sensor slash igniter and you should be back up and running. Well guys, it's that easy to clean the flame sensor on your mobile home furnace, believe it or not. You can save hundreds of dollars by doing this yourself. 
instead of having to pay a technician to come out and do it. And even if that doesn't solve it, um, the flame sensor definitely needs to be cleaned periodically. So even if that's not the case, um, you will have ruled that out. But if it is, you can save a bunch of money. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one later.